Hi guys, uh, I'm back and we're going to open up another pack of Cons of Tarkir. Oh, you're going to give me trouble. <laughs> Hercules. Oh, man. Okay. We'll do it the sissy way. We have Inoc Tracker, Defiant Strike, Rotting Mastodon, Savage Punch, Punch the Bear. <laughs> I already have a couple of these in my in my uh, in my rare binder, my play, what I, rather what I call my playables binder. Um, <laughs> I think everyone does. I've even heard people collecting the art of this card. It really is the iconic piece of art in the set. It's, it's weird that it's on a common card. It's kind of unfortunate, but... Uh, Tormenting Voice. Bloodfell Caves. Alabaster Kirin. Abomination of Goodle. Mystic of the Hidden Way. Our first uncommon is Master the Way. Our second uncommon is Sandstep Citadel. Our third uncommon is Watcher of the Roost. I don't think we've had this card before, so I'll go over it. So Watcher of the Roost is pretty cool. Uh, it's two and a white, so three total. It has flying and morph, and it has the ability when Watcher of the Roost is turned face up, you gain two life. So you play it as a morph creature, it's a two, two. Uh, flip it over, gain two life. It's one of those odd creatures that kind of gets, it sort of gets weaker when it morphs. You know, it goes from a 2 2 to a 2 1, but it does gain flying, which actually is pretty handy. Um, so I think this could possibly be a, a good limited card. May even be a good constructed card. We'll see. But for right now, we'll move on to our rare, which is Villainous Wealth. We haven't had this card. I haven't seen this card, so let's go over it. So Villainous Wealth is X, black, green, blue, and it's a sorcery. And it says, uh, target opponent exiles the top X cards of his or her library. You may cast any number of non-land cards with converted mana cost X or less from among them without paying their mana costs. So target opponent exiles the top X cards of his or her library. You may cast any number of non-land cards with converted mana cost X or less from among them, paying their mana costs. Okay, cool. So the way that reads is, let's say we, we go deep into the game and we say we, we call four for X, we tap four mana, and then we pay the black, the green, and the blue cost. So seven total, and our opponent will exile uh, the top four cards of their library. And is, what, if, they're not, if they're all non-land cards, we can basically cast them without paying the mana cost. Uh, this is... I, I want to say that this is a, a Sultai card, and it's... My initial reaction is it's weird that it doesn't have Delve, because it seems like it would be really... It seems a little... It, it seems like a little underpowered to me, maybe a little bit, because you have to go really deep in mana, and having Delve would allow you to... Um, well, I guess you couldn't have Delve, because it's the next mana cost. All right, forget I said anything. Still in as well. <laughs> okay, awesome, cool. We we had a foil savage punch. Cool. Okay, I'm sure somebody will be happy to see that. Maybe I'll take that to one of the game stores. I heard, like I said, I heard someone was collecting savage punch art. I'm sure they would be happy to have a uh, a foil savage punch. Cool. Okay, we have a planes, and we have a warrior soldier token. As always, I'm very happy to get uh, to get warrior tokens. That is awesome. Cool. All right, guys. <laughs> I didn't know what I was talking about with villain as well. It can't have delve because that would be way under power. You can't have you can't have a delve cost for X. They could have changed the mana cost a little bit. I'm just saying it's, it's a little it's a little strange with a. It, you would have to have a crazy amount of mana to really get max benefit out of this card. I think. Anyway, we'll see. Anyway, that's it for this opening, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.